Ashley had me get up early this morning. Normally we would have gotten to sleep late, but she wanted to um, to see the kids practice in their Christmas program at the school where she works. And so um, we are in her car and um, besides church, this will be the only Christmas program I see because this is the first year that Ashley hasn't been in high school. Normally, we would have gone to a Christmas concert or something like that at her school. So, um, these are elementary kids. So, I'm sure this will be really, really fun. For lunch, I am having a Trader Joe's Just the Clusters Vanilla Almond Granola Cereal. Uh, Kevin did a review of this a while back, but it is really good. Um... And uh, I am funny about my calories. So you can see two thirds of a cup is 220 calories. So I will get my measuring spoon out and have two of these cups. But it makes more than you would think. I put it in a um, Ziploc storage bag because I am so funny about my calories and counting them out. Kevin's going to hold the camera for me. But I just, I literally get two scoops of this i do not add any milk um any sugar anything and that you saw that made a full uh bowl of cereal and i love that for 220 calories i can pick around on that this is gonna last me um i usually get a spoon because i'm weird that way um, but I'll eat the big pieces with my fingers, and then when I get to the smaller pieces, I'll literally scoop it up, and I don't need milk or anything. Um, but you wouldn't think you would get a whole bowl of cereal like that for 220 calories. But for me, because I do like to save my calories till snack time at night, I eat um, as few calories as I can get away with during the day, so I can have more then. So for lunch, for me, 220 calories, that's just right. Squirrel food. <laughs> You're so funny. Gavin's here! Yay! Santa's little helper's here! And his name is Gavin! Yay! Can you sit up? Oh, I got all of his toys out. And he's in a good mood. He has little Christmas socks, but he took them off. He likes to, like any baby, he likes to kick his socks off. Now, we bought these at Walmart, and I don't remember how much they were. Okay, this is how they look when you open the box. And this is a, a big box. The, there are 112 diapers in here, so... Um, are you going to get mad? So, this is how they look. And I usually open one of these at a time. And this is for points. But I don't think his mom collects these. These were the size twos, and these are the threes, and they look so big. There's a big difference. Big difference between the two and the three. I've got a monster. He's barely contained in my arms, but he's a chunky monkey. Um, <laughs> Tay wanted me to tell you a little bit about the ceiling. If you look up, and I don't know if you can really see it, but there's discoloration. You, you can see it. There's, well, you can see it's a clear ring right around where that chimney is. It's right around here. Yeah. And by the way, that's not real brick. It's a fake brick. But anyway, Cause it's you actually... Because you couldn't tell. Yeah. Go off from a video. I don't know if you can tell or not. But anyway, it's fake. Um, someone stuck up. That's actually like wood paneling or something, and they stuck it up there. But anyway... Um, this chimney has had some leaking problems in the past, and the roofing guy said that they had um, taken and patched up with layers and layers of tar. He said literally just taken like handfuls of it and just smeared it all over the place up there. So what's going on is the flashing around the chimney, and we also have a, um, a sewer vent, you know, because you vent your sewer so that you can flush your toilets and stuff. That has a boot around it. Both of those are probably leaking. They've both got tar painted all over them. Um, so what they're going to do is they said the flashing around the chimney is a tin flashing 
and the tin flashing gets moisture and it starts to rust. So what they're going to do is they're going to, we got a roofing guy coming, uh, they are going to uh, pull the old flashing out, pull all the tar and all the shingles associated with that area out, um, put down new aluminum flashing, which won't rust, um, seal it with an adhesive that they use on roofs that are, that are made for a roof, so we'll get, they get hot in the sun, and then uh, re-shingle and reseal everything. Hi. Thank you. Um, reseal everything. He said he would also get some, uh, take care of the few areas in the chimney where it needs to be retucked in the, um, the mortar lines between the bricks. He said there's a few areas that needed to be retucked in there, but they would take care of those. Um, he said there's a makeshift, somebody uh, homemade a cap for the top of the chimney to keep the water from just pouring down the chimney. All right. Um, he said that, that it'll work, but it needs to be sealed better. So they are going to pull that out and reseal it better and put it back on. And uh, they're also going to put a little cap on top of the vent because if you, I don't know if you can see, but the big brown pipe that goes up to the side right there, and it's kind of dark back there. But, you can see it. But that is actually the vent for our gas heater or gas furnace underneath the house. And that actually runs up through the chimney and out the top. So what they're going to do is they're going to, that, the top of that is also um, out. So, um, did you spit up this? Yes. Get enough. Um, so anyway, they are going to put a little cap on top of that as well. And um, so a little water will just pour down through the through that vent stack. So that's what they're going to do. Hopefully, they're going to do it in the next uh, uh, day or two if they can, if the weather holds up. And how much is that going to cost? Eight hundred and ten dollars, which is not super bad. It's going to be um, six hundred dollars for the the flashing and the the uh, the shingles and things like that and. Um, $200 to replace all of the boots and stuff around the uh, the top and then around the, the plumbing thing. So so what will we have to do? Just paint that? I mean, um, just... That needs to be scraped down and patched up and painted, yeah. Okay. I was a little surprised right before Christmas that we get to spend money on that. Um, I knew when we moved in here that this ceiling had never been uh, redone uh, like other ceilings in the house but I hope that we could put off doing anything to it for a while I figured I would tell you the cons of moving into an old house Son is making Chex Mix and it's in the oven and now he's starting the uh, peanut butter fudge and we have recipes on both of these and I can link to them in the description um, like I don't have enough sweets and junk around here. But I asked him to make the Chex Mix, but he wanted to make the peanut butter fudge on his own. And Miss Ashley is holding Mr. Gavin, and she is making out thank you cards because she has received some presents from co-workers and students. So um, I'll get her to show you those in just a second. Guido. Let's see how did Guido the Friendly Pug. It's Guido the Friendly Pug. Oh, hug Guido. Hug him. Oh, you can go see him? Let's go to his house. Oh. That's your friend, isn't it? That's your friend. Yeah, he's your friend. Oh, here comes the cat. Chapel the angry cat. And Guido the friendly pug. The cat doesn't like you either, woman. <laughs> He's friendly too. Chapel the angry cat. <laughs> okay, these are things that Ashley has received. That is a $5 gift card to a local coffee place here and then the um, teacher she works with gave her uh, what is this 20 two puccinis $20 two puccinis to get pizza $20 to Regal for a movie one was 25 wasn't it 
Puccini's. Puccini's was 25, and then Regal to see a movie was 20. And then a student gave her this uh, uh, bowl with Let's candy in it. Oh, okay. So you got the dish and the. Okay, and then tell me about the scarves. These are all infinity scarves. Um, a student gave me this. So it's called an infinity scarf because there's no end. Mm -hmm. And then this from a student. The brown from the same student. And then this from a very sweet student. That's a good gift. And he was very <laughs> excited to give it to me. What does the what do the other ones look like? You didn't show those. Are this they one. you said though they were infinity scarves also? <laughs> That one's really pretty. I like that. It's I think like a that's gray my, and black. That's probably my favorite. I think it's funny that they know that all I wear is gray and black. All you wear is gray and black. Miss Ashley the Witch. Um, we showed this stuff in a haul that we did. I think our last Walmart haul. And Ashley bought it. And I don't even remember how much it was. But she tried it with pretzels. And what else did you try it with, Ashley? Bread. Pretzels, bread, and she just uh, was not impressed with it at all. Um, Hershey's chocolate, it's a very distinct chocolate. Um, so, if you're not into, um, like Hershey syrup, it has a different taste than other syrups. So, we are going to give this away, but um, because she doesn't know, they show a picture of a strawberry on there, and she doesn't eat fruit. And then they showed it with the bread. She ate it with the bread. We do have graham crackers, but she just wasn't impressed enough with the taste to want to try it on graham crackers. So we will be giving, um, giving that away. And in the meantime, she has made another of her sandwiches that she did on um, a cooking thing. What was it called, actually? A spicy Italian? And Kevin is making, he, Kevin is still making Chex Mix, and he made one batch of peanut butter fudge, and that is in the refrigerator. It has to cool off, cool down, and then you cut it, and uh, now he's working on another batch of peanut butter fudge. And Mr. Gavin is sitting here being good. For once. And the garbage can is full. Our garbage can's always full, because we have all these cereal boxes and, um, containers for the uh, peanut butter fudge and all this so it's it generates a lot of garbage they haven't started recycling here the where we lived before they had um recycling and it's just literally what within like five miles three miles away they had uh we had a, our own recycling bin and we got used to doing that, and we enjoyed it. We really did enjoy separating the things out and all the cans and the plastic and paper and all that. And we had a lot less regular garbage. So the city has just decided they were doing, that was like a trial thing. So um, they have decided now that they're going to uh, do it citywide. So now I guess they have to get the money together to give everyone a bin for their house. But we're really excited about that. And we will have to, um, we will probably buy different bins once uh, that starts up. But that'll be nice. You can smell the yummy peanut butter fudge smell in the refrigerator. And we have our turkey uh, thawing um, for Christmas Day. And then all the other stuff in there. And Kevin just, um, this is the first batch of Chex Mix. He just poured it out on, the, we let it uh, cool off on these uh, towels and then uh, put it in tins. And I line the tins with um, wax paper. And one will be designated for Christmas Eve, and then one will be one that we eat on, and then we'll give some away. And um, But we're getting ready to uh, make another, a second batch. Uh, that was half the boxes of cereal makes that this much. It makes quite a bit. And then um, we'll make another batch using the rest of the stuff. But when you eat it by the handfuls, 
Yeah, when you eat it by the handfuls, it goes quick, but it's so good. It fills you up. It's like a meal. Mm hmm. We like to call him Templeton. After the rat in Charlotte's Web. Because he likes to get things and hide them. I thought he was going to grab it. No, that's not what he wanted. He wants a hairband. And there he goes, old Templeton. I don't know where, yeah, there he goes. Look at him, a little rat. Taking that to his hiding place. 